Hey guys, welcome back to Tape Talk Robotics. I'm Justin. Today I'm going to show you a quick video of how to make gears in FreeCAD. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go into Pod Design. And in Pod Design, we're going to go into this taskbar and press Pod Design, then Involute Gear. So when we're making our gear, we should get this, these uh, five, uh, five options. Now we can change the number of teeth of the gear. I'm going to set mine to 24. Oh, sorry, uh, tw yeah, 24. Then modules. This is essentially, oops, um, this is essentially a quotient of the pitch diameter uh, divided by the number of teeth. So we can just change this. This essentially changes the pitch diameter of the gear. So, but if we want an actual diameter of the gear, so let's say I want a 15 millimeter diameter uh, for this gear, I put in 15. Then I'll divide that by the number of teeth of it, so 24. So then I have a a gear with a diameter of 15 millimeters. Then for pressure angle, um, I'm just going to keep this as 20. You can change this if you want to. High precision. I want to set mine to false. Either one will work. If you're 3D printing, um, either one works just fine. Uh, an ex uh, external gear, I want to set mine to true. Now if you set yours to false, you're going to have this gear which where you can fit another gear on the inside instead of having it follow on the outside. So this is good. I'm going to press OK to finish this gear. And here I have it. So now, since I have this gear, it acts kind of like a sketch. So I can go into parts, or part, and I could extrude this, uh, extrude a selected sketch just like any other sketch you made. And I made a mistake, I think. I'm just gonna go back in the gear, and I wanna set that back to true. Press okay. Then then I'm gonna do uh, extrude, and I'm gonna do uh, Let's do a five millimeter extrude. So I'm gonna apply that. Then I wanna close that. So now I have this gear made. Now if you wanna add an axle hole, you're gonna just add a cylinder. And then you wanna just change the, the radius of the, of the cylinder to what you want. In my case, I wanna set to 1.5 millimeters. So a, a, three di uh, a three millimeter diameter. Then you're just gonna do select both of these. And just going to do a, a make a cut of two shapes, and then you should have a gear with an axle hole in the middle. Now, if you want to make a second gear, we're going to go into part design again. Go back to the taskbar, press part design, involute gear. And now I want to make this gear 12 teeth, so half the uh, half the number of teeth as the other one. I want to have to set the modules to the same number as the other gear so they mesh properly. So, and to check that, I can go here, uh, go into the other gear, uh, scroll down, and where it says modules, I got a 0 0.62. So in the gear I'm working on right now, in modules, I'm gonna have to put 0 0.62. And pressure angle should be the same, high precision. I'm gonna set that false again. And external gear to true, that looks good. I'm gonna press okay. Okay, so now I can move this gear. I want to do another, go back into part, do another extrude. I want to do uh, 15 millimeters again. Press apply. Now these, oops, not 15, I meant five millimeters. Uh, apply. So now these two gears are on top of each other. And I'm just going to make another axle hole. Like the other one, um, 1.5 millimeters. Oops. 1.5 millimeters. I'm just gonna cut that from the gear we just made. Okay, now since these two gears are on top of each other, we won't have to move one over. So what you wanna do is you wanna put this equation into its position. So you're going to take in the module number. So I'm just going to put an X. So I'm going to open the bracket, put the module number, which was 0 0.62. Then you want to times that by the sum of the number of teeth there is. So 24 plus 12 teeth in total. Then you want to divide that number by two. And that moves the gear over to the correct position. So now the, the two pitch diameters of each gear 
overlap in this one overlap at one point now this gear all we have to do to rotate it is do a 360 divided by the number of teeth in the gear so 12 divided by 2 again and then they should mesh properly and that's it that's how you make gears in FreeCAD if you like this video guys give it a thumbs up consider subscribing more videos on this way I'll see you next time bye